What's up everyone? This is the raw truth and this is the second part. This is the second part. And the reason why I wanted to make a second part about this is because I didn't go fully into Tariq Nasheed. Because the thing about it is, you know, you people who follow Tariq Nasheed are zombies and your parrots and your hypocrites yourselves. And the reason why that I'm saying that is because in order to build a community, I want you to keep an open mind, but I know you black folks don't want to do that. And I'm going to keep saying that because you black folks don't like to keep an open mind for crap because your mind is already made up because of you want to be a follower and worshiping somebody. That's how I know you worship people. You don't really worship God or worship God. You think you worship that you, cause you worship people when, when you're told that somebody that you like is very, very wrong, you get very, very highly offended instead of keeping an open mind. So what I need you to do is keep an open mind even though I know you won't. In order for you to build a community, you have to form alliance or friendships with people. You have to form that brotherhood, form that bond, and then that teach that brother to the to form a bond with other brothers. And so you begin to network. You cannot build a community when you're destroying somebody. You know what that's like? Common sense and logic will show you this. What part of the armed forces, the army, navy, air force, marine, right? Now, if we out there in the battlefield and we're fighting, let's just say, uh, the Sunni Muslims and the army, navy, air force, marine is taking their guns and shooting one another and killing one another. Can they go after the enemies? Before they can go after the enemies, they have to be what? In one, in one mind, in unity, correct? Then they can go after the enemy because they're one, coming together to achieve the same goal. Will somebody please tell me how did Tariq and she did that? I mean, at least Tommy Sotomayor, he cooked, you know, he got drinks and stuff. They had a barbecue set on his patio of his mansion, you know, and had a show and threw down. Tommy Sotomayor did that. Why Why y'all mad at him? I thought that was very good. That's what you call building. So why did Tariq Nasheed do what he do? So what Tariq Nasheed did is made fun of Tommy. Did all kind of stuff. And I exposed some of the reasons why I believe that he did that. Why I believe that, you know, he, he, had, he did that to Tommy. But if we're supposed to be the building that community, how come... How come it's okay for Tariq Nasheed to destroy his own brother? Huh? I want, I, I want, I want somebody to please answer because see, now I'm getting angry. I want somebody to please answer me. When Tariq Nasheed said about Tommy Sotomayor that he should stick an electric dildo up his ass and jump into a tub full of water, when you stick something electrical anywhere or hold something electrical and jump into the tub of water, that person will be electrocuted even severely or even death. So why in the hell would somebody who was supposed to be building talking about death to somebody? Hmm? Time to reach machine supporters. Hello? Hello? Where you at? Number two, yes, I heard it myself. I've seen the verse video and I'm disgusted about it. I've seen it. Point number two, Tariq Nasheed told Tommy that he's crispy. When you look up crispy, he has everything associated with black. black, then he should love crispy, right? So why is being crispy an insult? Crispy also means sexy. Oh boy. He is King Flex and he is the lip smacking Mac, so might have a point there. Uh, might have a point there with that. Maybe Tariq think Tommy Sotomayor is sexy. <laughs> so he tried to. You know, I guess he tried to damage control and trying to say crispy means gay. And a lot of parents are the, no crispy means gay. No, it doesn't. 
No, it doesn't. Even Tommy Sotomayor went through the definitions. See, that's something that Tommy and I do. We we research before we speak. We research. Y- y'all don't. Crispy. But if Crispy is associated with, let's just say, with just being black, then calling him Crispy or calling him black is an insult. How is that pro-black? How is that building a community? I want somebody who supports Tariq Nasheed to bring that out. Don't hand me that. Oh, well, he's a best-selling author shit when he's, when he's destroying a man in our own community. But I thought black lives matter, you idiots. See what I'm talking about? You see what I'm talking about? <laughs> Tariq Nasheed told Tommy, he said, nigga, kill yourself. Wait a minute, why would you want somebody to kill yourself? In order to build with the community, you have to make sure the lives is preserved to produce other lives. So that lives can produce other lives. So that lives can produce other lives. When you're asking him to kill himself, it's like ending a line. Ending a lineage. So why would you wish that on somebody? Could somebody who followed Tariq Nasheed answer that for me, please? Huh? Huh? I know these are hard questions. I know these are questions, so if you want somebody to build the community by logic, you have to hate the one who wants to destroy it. So that challenge and jeopardizes your love for Tariq Nasheed. Oh, unless you, you're one of those people who says something but means something else differently. Just like him. <laughs> I was listening to a um, feminist debate between him and a girl, uh, P, uh, prison name, PJ. Junior or something like that. And they were going back and forth in the debates. He didn't keep in mind. I hate feminists. All the feminist thing. Now PJ she's a damn hypocrite. Hypocrite. She's a Jezebel and she's a witch. And she's not good for the community. You know what I'm saying. But why didn't Tariq Nasheed say that he was with her. That it messed stuff to her. Because they were going back and forth. So he actually saying that he will get violent. So now he's promoting domestic violence. I mean, you have to understand. I've heard it. So there's there's no excuse. There's no excuse whatsoever. So how can you build a nation like that? So what's telling me is. Tariq Nasheed, I can't trust him. I can't trust him at all. What did Tariq Nasheed get mad at me? What's he going to do to me? Hmm? What if Tariq Nasheed get mad at his supporters? What is he going to do to your, to, to his supporters? Bet you if he come out to you and call your mama crack whore, you'll be all up. Oh, no, don't be talking about my mama. Don't be talking about my mama. As Tommy said, mama. Don't be talking about my mama. My mama is black. Y'all be mad like crazy. What if what if Tariq Nasheed told told you to tell your father to stick a dildo in his ass and jump in jump in jump in and get electrocuted? Huh? What would you do? Huh? Now come on. <laughs> because you see, you people are hypocrites. And it seems like every single time I've I've made videos. I've always got to expose the hypocrisy of my people. Because you know. You know what I'm saying is correct. You know how I know. Because black on black crimes is there. That's why. Somebody say something. One thing wrong. Or step on step on your shoes the wrong way. You ready to kill that nigga. Yeah. So. Where, where, where was that love that you given to Rick Nasheed. A guy you don't even know. In your community. Where's that love in your community, huh? Oh, you don't want to hear that, do you? What about your uncles or, or your brothers or distant cousins or aunts and come over and messes up the barbecue and stuff and y'all arguing like crazy and then y'all have nothing to say to them because that person has done y'all wrong and y'all did the best that y'all can or didn't talk. And, 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 and what about that? A lot of y'all ain't speaking to family members, huh? Y'all, a lot of y'all ain't speaking to y'all friends because y'all had a fallout. But yet, 
Y'all can't see the logic that Tommy Sotomayor invited somebody in his mansion. Tommy Sotomayor fed him and the things that he got is what Tariq Nasheed did. Now I know if your family members did that, y'all, y'all wouldn't be seeing them, huh? Oh, don't speak to Bob. Oh, don't speak to Bill. He, he don't, he ain't allowed over here. He came over here to my house and disrespect me in my house and talk about me like a dog. He ain't allowed over here, but yet you support Tariq Nasheed. So by logic, that makes you a hypocrite. <laughs> by logic, that makes you a hypocrite. The reason why that makes you a hypocrite, because bring your family members back then. Since you feel the way that you do, and it's okay for Tariq Nasheed to do what he do, bring all your family members and your friends back and everybody back and call it even. But you won't. You know why? Because it affected you. Because see, y'all don't give a damn that it affected Tommy. Well, Tommy, he wished death on other people, so did Tariq Nasheed, but you still fall on Tariq Nasheed, stupid. Well, Tommy, hum, no, Tommy, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. Y'all may get mad at Tommy Sotomayor for saying that these people have to die and stuff for that. Because, you know, whenever you hook up with somebody who ain't supposed to be hooked up with, you're going to die. And once again, I'm telling you, I'm not a fan of Tommy's. I believe some of the things that he's saying is very, very incorrect. And I even leave comments. I leave comments on the comic board telling Tommy, no, those people in Israel, not the Jews. Tommy, no, get stop. Leave them so-called Jews alone. You don't know them. And I may give them stuff that, no, I know this, what the so-called Jews do to make them the scum of the earth. So uh, even though I'm a subscriber of Tommy's uh, and I, when I disagree with him, he, I let him know it. I'm not going to agree with everything that he says. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And some of the things that he does is on point. It's like Tariq Nasheed. Some of the things that Tariq Nasheed does is on point. But I'm disagreeing with what Tariq Nasheed has did. And there's a reason why he has that shield of David, like I said, on a doll supposed to be representing Tommy Sotomayor. Now, could this be a fixed match? Because I know there's false flag beef like the West Coast and East Coast of rap industry. And here it was started by the so-called Jews to create chaos in our community because the West Coast and East Coast and the rappers never even had a beef until the Hollywood made it. And as soon as Hollywood made it, now East Coast and West Coast, it shows that y'all can be controlled. Y'all don't have the mindset of thinking as an individual. You always got to worship a man and look at a man as he's the one and you got to understand he's not. That's why I have an individual mind. I can subscribe to Tariq Nasheed. I can subscribe to Tommy Sotomayor. I can subscribe to Umar Johnson, the white man. Yeah, it's hot to them. But it doesn't mean that whenever they go off or do something wrong, it doesn't mean I'm going to accept it. I'm going to rebuke it. That's what it is. So y'all need to... um. Y'all need to find some kind of way or some kind of morals that we're going to all go by that says what's right is what right and what's wrong is what's wrong. Because the morals and standards that I go by seems to be a lot higher than y'all. <laughs> y'all got mad when I exposed uh, when I exposed Umar's letters. And a lot of people exposing Umar Johnson because there's a standard. I don't believe in getting ass. I believe in husband laying down with a wife. That's a high standard. See, whenever our community was building, we had marriages to back it up. We didn't have that baby mama shit. We didn't have that uh, out of wedlock shit. We didn't have none of that. You know what I'm saying? We didn't have that. Doing the older, older generation. My generation is fucked up from the, the from the other generation. But the older, older generation, they may have just a little bit of that. But the vast majority of it was marriages, and it was marriages and strong families which built the community. How come that's not being taught? So if you want the community built. Hey, I could, I, I could show you because I'm out there teaching or I'm teaching on YouTube through the woman against feminism. I'm doing a whole lot of teaching because I want marriages. That's the only way we're built a community. Marriages are when the right people are getting married because the wrong people are getting married and being put together. And we can see a lot of divorces going on. You know, send me your hate mail, your death threats. I don't care. 
<laughs> but um, the truth is going to be the truth. And that's why I'm the raw truth. Because I'm going to tell you how it is and supposed to be. Whether you like it, accept it, understand it, believe it or not. Till then, I'm the raw truth. Peace.